Hi, my name is Carly Tulin, and I'm an environmental scientist for the Maryland Coastal Bays Program. The Coastal Bays is home to many different species that all play an important role in the ecosystem. In this video, we will go over the life cycle of the eastern oyster, a keystone species that improves the biotic and abiotic characteristics of our bays. Like a domino effect, all it takes is a single male or female oyster to spawn to trigger all the nearby oysters to release their eggs and sperm. A single adult female oyster can release as many as 100 million eggs into the water. Before spawning begins, however, specific water conditions must be met. For example, water temperatures must be between 68 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit, and salinity must be greater than 10 parts per thousand. When the sperm fertilizes the egg, it begins the first stage of life for the eastern oyster, the larval stage. These microscopic larvae float through the water column for two weeks before developing what we call a foot. The foot allows the oyster larvae to search for a suitable substrate to attach to. Once the foot is developed, the larvae has roughly one week to find a substrate to attach to. During its search for a permanent home, the oyster larvae may attach and detach itself from substrate that is considered unsuitable. However, once it finds a suitable substrate, it permanently attaches to it and moves on to its next stage in life. Once the larvae permanently attaches itself to a substrate, it begins sequestering calcium carbonate to create its shell. The moment the larvae begins building its shell, it transforms from larvae into spat. Spat is the scientific term for baby oysters. The best substrate for spat to settle on is oyster shell. In fact, oyster reefs are made up over time from spat attaching to other oysters, dead or alive, and growing off them to form clumps and reefs. Oysters and oyster shells are not the only substrate spat settle on. Other suitable substrate include rocks, concrete, and clamshells. Look at the pictures on this slide. Each picture contains at least one oyster spat in it. Take a moment to see if you can spot all the spat in these images. How many spot did you spot? Were you able to identify all the ones pictured here? If so, congratulations! You are spattacular at identifying spat. If you missed a few, don't worry. Oyster spat can blend into their substrates, making it hard to see them. Spat reach their next life cycle phase after about one year of growth. At this time, they become juvenile oysters and are about one inch in length. Although juvenile oysters are fertile and capable of spawning, their fecundity, or ability to produce an abundance of offspring, peaks during adulthood. A fun fact about oysters is they are hermaphroditic, meaning they can change their sex throughout their life. In fact, most juvenile oysters are males that become females in their late juvenile and adulthood stages. Oysters spend roughly two years in their juvenile stage before maturing into adults. Mature oysters are three or more inches in length. Water quality conditions like salinity and temperature can affect oyster growth rates. However, on average, an oyster grows about one inch per year. In Maryland, the minimum size for harvesting oysters is three inches. In optimal conditions, oysters can live to be 20 years old. However, this is usually seen only in controlled environments. Oysters face many issues throughout their lives, whether it's predation, overharvesting, parasitism, disease, or pollution. These issues have drastically impacted the oyster population in the coastal bays and has made it extremely difficult to create a self-sustaining oyster population. The Maryland Coastal Bays Program is working with numerous partners to reestablish the oyster population in the coastal bays through restoration, scientific monitoring, and volunteer programs. We hope to one day have a self-sustaining oyster reef in the coastal bays. Here are a few more resources for you to enjoy if you are interested in learning more about oysters and oyster gardening in Maryland. For those who are interested in learning about oyster gardening and the benefits oysters provide to our bay critters, I recommend watching the MCBP Oyster Gardening Program information video that is available as a link in the video description below. I hope that you have learned something new throughout this video. There is still so much to learn about oysters and their benefits to our ecosystem, and I encourage you to do your own research. If you have any additional questions about oysters, feel free to contact me, 
carly tolan at ctolan at mdcoastalbays.org.